Happy New Year, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day, and it's unbelievable that we are beginning 2022. I'm praying that God blesses you this year and just does amazing things in your life. And, and that's why we are glad that you're tuning in to the word for the day. And we are beginning a, a series that's going to last for several months where we're going to call it Journey to Freedom. We're, we're going to follow the, the Israelites from slavery in Egypt uh, to the freedom that God gives them until they uh, come to face to face with the promised land. And, and we wanted to do that. It's walking through a lot of Exodus and uh, some of uh, some other passages, numbers. But uh, we want to also share not just how the Israelites took their journey to freedom. We wanted to share how we, as your pastors, uh, made our journey to freedom as well. Uh, how we discovered freedom in Christ, because freedom is so important to us here at Calvary. And, and we know that it was for freedom that Christ has set us free. So uh, my story is this. I was raised in church. Uh, I was in church from nine months before I was born. Uh, I never had to ask, are we going Sunday? The only reason we didn't go is if we were sick. And, and we were there uh, all the time. Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, special events, special occasions. Church was kind of the, the center of my social life, my spiritual life, my life, because we didn't do a lot of other social stuff. And, uh, and I like church. I always wanted to be in church. I love the music. I still do. And worshiping is just uh, a, a very appealing piece of what we do here at Calvary. But as I grew up, I understood that uh, people didn't always live up to what they said, that there was hypo hypocrisy all around, uh, that a lot of people were hypocrites uh, because I grew up in the church and I saw it. I saw people be mean to each other and then blame it on Jesus. And, and I thought that's the way you acted. So in a sense, I was raised to be a good religious person and what I would call a Pharisee. But nobody ever called us Pharisees. They, they, the Pharisees were the bad guys, and I was taught that I was a Jesus person, so I was a good guy. And uh, no one taught me to look at my life and evaluate it by Scripture. But they did tell me to read the Bible. They, they encouraged me to read the Bible. They didn't tell me to. Uh, we, I went to Sunday school growing up, so I knew the Bible stories. But as I became a, a teenager and surrendered my life to following Jesus, not just as a follower, but as a minister, as a pastor, I started voraciously reading Scripture, especially the New Testament, okay? I, I'm just, a, I'm biased. I, I, I want us to read and know Jesus. I want us to read and know about Jesus. So I, I just started uh, consuming vast quantities of Scripture in the New Testament. And what I found was that um, the way we were living and doing church wasn't biblical. And so when people want to know where I come from, I say I'm biblically rebellious. I'm going to do what God tells me to do, whether church people like it or not. And, and so I started applying to my own life convictions that uh, said, hey, you really can't uh, represent Jesus unless you reflect his character. You hear, you hear me say that a lot around Calvary. And I believe it's true. And so uh, the way you treat people matters. The way that you uh, 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 tell the truth matters. The, the kindness that you show matters. The forgiveness that you exercise greatly matters. And all of these things, as I began to identify them and live them out, changed my life personally. And, uh, and here at Calvary, over the 30 years I've been pastor here, as we've applied them more and more, and rejected the religious practices that were not biblical, uh, we have found freedom. And, and as your pastor, I have found freedom to, for us to be the people of God that I believe God really wants us to be. So uh, my journey to freedom was rooted in Scripture because one day I came face to face with the reality that the stories that Jesus had about the Pharisees and the conflicts he had with the Pharisees, uh, that I wasn't the good guy. I, I was the Pharisee. And so that started my journey of repentance and that journey of discovering the joy of being free in Jesus. So if I can encourage you to do anything uh, on your journey to freedom, it's read the Bible and apply it no matter what anybody else thinks and do what God leads you to do. God bless and happy new year and let's take this journey to freedom together.